Hey guys and welcome to this video on the C programming language. So in this video we're going to create a program that does basic left and right shift operations. So let's go ahead and get started here. First I'm going to do is I'm going to create a description for our program. So this is a program that does basic left and right shift operations. All right. Now we're going to include our library, stdio.h, and let's create our main function. All right, and we're going to start off with the left shift operation, and that's denoted by this symbol here. Okay, uh, don't need the parentheses. Okay, so I'm going to create a print statement and we're going to basically print out the values after they've been left shifted, um, after the bit's been left shifted. So let's take, for example, the value 10 and let's shift the bits to the left by 2. Okay, now the answer for this is simple. The way that we can come up with the answer before we print it to the screen is by first taking the number 10 and converting it to binary. So 10 in binary is 1010 zero, zero. and after a left shift by 2 we get 1010 zero, zero, and then we append two zeros. So two more zeros there. And now what we do is we convert this back into decimal. So 101000 in decimal equals 40. So I'm going to put 40 in decimal. And if you're not good at converting decimal numbers to binary numbers, um, an easier way to determine the output of this would be to take the number 10, multiply it by 2 to the power of your shifting. So we're shifting by 2. So this right here, of course, equals 40. All right, so let's print this out and see if we get that value. And here you can see we get the value 40. So pretty simple. Let's look at another example. All right, I'm just going to basically rewrite that. But instead of using 10, we're going to use the value 11. And we're going to shift it to the left by 3 bits this time. And we do the same thing. So we take the value 11. We're going to convert it to binary, which is 1011. And then after a left shift, by 3, we get 1011, and then we append three zeros, so 1, 2, 3, and this is equal to 88 in decimal, or we can simply do 11 times 2 to the power of 3, which equals 88. All right, so let's double check this, let's run this, and indeed we get 88. All right. Perfect, so pretty easy so far. And now let's talk about right shift operation, which is denoted like that, or it looks like that. And I'm just gonna copy this print statement here. And we're gonna change the value, and of course change the operation. So let's change 10. To six, and we are going to right shift it by one. So what we do in this case is we take that value six, convert it to binary, which is zero, one one zero. Uh, let me use my comments, make sure I don't mess up our program. So zero one one zero, and 
after a right shift by one, we get 0, 0, 1, 1, which equals three in decimal. Or we can simply do six divided by two to the power of one, which equals three. All right, so let's go ahead and run this and see if we indeed get three back. And we do, we can see the three right there. All right, now let's do another example. I'm gonna just copy this and paste it here. And we'll use the value 10 again. But this time we're going to right shift that value by one. So we, of course, first we do the same thing. We get the value 10, we're gonna convert it to binary. So we get one zero, one zero. And then after a right shift by one, we get zero, one, zero, one, which equals five in decimal. Or we could simply do 10 divided by two to the power of one, which gives us five as well. And so let's go ahead and run the program and see if we get five back. Okay, so perfect. So you see we get the value five here. So thank you guys. I hope that helped you to understand the, the left shift and the right shift operators in the C programming language. Please leave any questions you have. Please leave likes. Don't forget to share this uh, to help others. And don't forget to subscribe. And as always, guys, thanks for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.